Hi, and welcome to Personal Health and Wellness. I am Kendall Repass. I'm the instructor for your course, and I want to take just a moment to uh, introduce you to the course content, show you around the class, and uh, hopefully answer any questions that you've already got about being an online student with us at Carl Albert State College. First of all, um, I'm really excited that you're in this class. This is content that I am super passionate about. I have a crazy zeal about longevity, about performance, about human health. And so these are things that I just really get energized about. And I think you're really going to pick up on that uh, as you go through some of the content and you see kind of the way I address things. Uh, but hopefully you understand that this class is incredibly important. It's not just a, an easy class that you would take to kind of bump your GPA. That This is something that you can take uh, and you can go through your whole life with this content and really make a pertinent but also a tangible difference in things that are going on with you uh, and your life. So uh, with no uh, further ado, here's kind of the things that we're going to do for this class. And so right now you're at the welcome page uh, right here on the screen. And one of the things that I want to kind of turn you to first is the fact that you're watching this introductory video. Uh, and that you'll need to go ahead and take the pretest, which is located right below that uh, here. And you need to do that quickly because uh, there is a date that's going to be stamped with that. And that is our no show date. And we're going to ask for you to take this test as soon as possible so that you're not no showed from this class. Now, one of the things that you'll see is a, a, Clearly, you'll have a grade on this pretest, but I don't want you to worry about that. What that's doing is that's just telling me about what you know about some of the content that we're going to do in the class. I am not going to count that grade into your average or your final grade or anything like that. So take that. Just just let me know that you're with me uh, and let me see kind of where you're at, because we're going to take that test again uh, towards the end of the class so that we can see that some uh, knowledge has been transferred, right? So uh, go ahead and take that, but don't fear the pretest score. The next thing is after you take that, I want you to come right over here to start working. And that's just to your left of your screen. I want you to click that. And when you do, what you're going to notice is that we have all of the content for you open. Um, now, when you first look at this, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go in modular order. So from module one all the way down to 12. And this is the content of the class. I'm going to cover each one of these for you. And so I'm going to go ahead and just show you what module one or personal health looks like. And each module will have a table of contents uh, with some instruction to it. Uh, and, and just for example, this one says first, view both personal health and financial literacy via, uh, videos. Here is your personal health video. Then you're going to take a personal health quiz, which is located right down here at the very bottom. And I'm sorry you don't see that yet, but it is there. Uh, and then after you take that quiz, I want you to complete a SWOT analysis and SMART goals assignment. That's right here. And real quick, I'm going to click on that and I want you to see something. When I click on that assignment, it gives me an option to view a rubric and it tells me how many points are possible. Well, you know, if you've been around higher ed at all, uh, or even some in high school, you probably are familiar with a rubrics tool and what that does is that tells me what I need to do to make the best grade on this assignment and so I'm going to click this right here just so you can see this and we can go through this together but on the rubric, one of the things that you'll see is that I weight the criterion of the assignment very heavily, 75%. But I'm also looking at your ability to organize. And what you're going to notice is that you have freedom to organize, but I want to see that you can do that. And I want a nice document. I want If you're going to take time to do it, then I want you to put together a document that's worth turning into me. Uh, and the other thing is grammar. We are going to look at your grammar, and we're going to ask that you put in some time doing your 
your own grammar checks so that you can identify any weaknesses that you might have there because your writing skills are very important for your future. And so criterion, again, is the biggest. And if you want to get the max points out of that, you're going to review all the criterion in the assignment. So real quick, I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to look and I'm going to see the criterion that I'm looking for in this assignment. And the first thing is you're going to list a dimension and you don't know what that is yet, but you're going to watch the video and you're going to understand this. And then you're going to give your three strengths, your three weaknesses, your three opportunities and your three threats for all eight dimensions that we talk about in that first video. And it's not a very lengthy assignment, but it will take some thought and you're going to have to put some effort into getting that done. And then you're going to develop your SMART goals about those dimensions. And again, that doesn't make sense to you yet, but it will once you watch that video. And then when you have completed a Word document with that content, then what I want you to do is I want you to go over here and I want you to click Write Submission. And you can either click Write Submission and come down here and put in a copy and pasted version of what you did on a Word document or I can come back over here and I can just browse my computer and I can find that document and I can attach it. I'll take attachments so don't fear that either. Either one is fine and then as soon as you do that you need to make sure you hit submit. When you hit submit you're going to get a email or actually a notification up here that lets you know that it has been received by me. If you don't get that, then I don't know that you have actually submitted it. Now, what you can also do is wait for your grade. I will have grading periods, and you're going to see those appear very soon on this Start Working tab. Right up here, there will be a course calendar. I don't have it disclosed yet because that changes at every class, and this video will not. So what I need you to do is look right here for your course calendar because everything will be on there. Another thing that I need to address for you is when we do examinations. There is going to be two examinations for this class. One is a midterm, the other is a final. And then obviously you know about the pretest, but that one doesn't count. The midterm and the final will be in the course calendar as well. So please keep looking as we start this semester for that calendar to appear. It will be there on day one of the class. So make sure you're looking at that as you are viewing this content. Go ahead and take, uh, feel free to view some of the other content, but go in order uh, and you will be just fine. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always click over here to, oop, that's not me. You can always click over here to the instructor information tab and you can identify the phone number of which I have in the office, that's 918-647-1285. Another thing that I would like to invite you to do is to email me by going to this tab right here. That will directly connect you to my email at Carl Albert State College, and that is the preferred method of contact for me. If you have any questions, though, shoot me an email, call me on the phone, whatever we got to do. I'd love for you to stop by the office so we can connect. Talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.